Fly Ranch is a 3,800-acre parcel in northern Washoe County, Nevada. It's about two hours north of Reno. It's a series of parcels that collectively were purchased by Burning Man Project uh, 2016 with the idea of seeing what it could be like to give Burning Man culture and those inspired by the Burning Man values year-round platform in which to engage in a large-scale Burning Man project. I am affiliated with the Burning Man project through an organization called Black Rock Labs. You can kind of think of that as the Burning Man sustainability think tank. And one of the things that Burning Man recently has done is acquired this large ranch. And they've been trying to think about what to do with that. One of the assets that Fly Ranch has is a lot of energy potential in solar, wind, and geothermal. So I thought, hey, maybe this might be a really interesting experiment to see how a Climate Corps fellow might be able to help a ranch and a nonprofit think through what it wants to do in terms of energy. So this summer, we put a Climate Corps fellow to work on Fly Ranch. EDF Climate Corps fellows are some of the most dedicated and passionate young people that you meet. They're committed to helping EDF accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economy. We're doing that by building a network, engaging them, empowering them, and connecting them. Our fellows come from around the world. They work with us at leading organizations, both public and private sector organizations in the U.S. and China, to find opportunities to improve energy management and save money. I came here to figure out how to do a sustainable energy plan for Fly Ranch. So I decided to create this event. My goal was to get energy experts together, specifically local energy experts. I invited people who develop energy in Nevada, local NGOs in Nevada, Nevada regulators, commissioners, local population. There has to come a point where we are coming up with a framework and a structure of how do we make trade-offs. That requires a lot of data, that requires a, a lot of discipline. She's been helpful not just in the academic science, but also in helping us really think about the social science of what we're doing and how we're not just thinking about this in terms of a, a Burning Man project, but really a project for people who are inspired by these values and want to engage and can help us cast a wider net one of the exciting things about working with Burning Man this summer is that it's the largest pop-up city in the world. Cities are increasingly a, a bigger part of what we're doing with Climate Corps. Working with the cities to advance clean energy, drive efficiency, and build more resilient cities for the future. This place can be an incubator for renewable solutions that can be deployed not just in Black Rock City, but, but around the globe.